Welcome to Ascent. My name is Martin Fordham and today I'd like to tell you about our Drysyn Snowstorm 1 reactor system. So Snowstorm 1, as the name may imply, allows you not just to heat and stir round bottom flasks on a magnetic hot plate stirrer, but cool as well. So how does this work? Well, let me take this off. We have a a multi-channeled cooling base sits directly on top of the hot plate stirrer and then it connects to any type of circulator system you may already have. So you may have a chiller only or you may have a, a circulator system that can heat and cool precisely. Where does Snowstorm come into its own? Well unlike um, when you have a jacketed reactor vessel, changing sizes and scales can be quite laborious. But with Snowstorm 1, you stand stand around a bottom flasks and changing of scale is as simple as that. Very, very easy. No connection directly to the thermofluid, just simple heat transfer or cooling transfer through the aluminium. There is a temperature probe socket here, so you can put in the PT100 to control the block temperature precisely from a thermoregulating circulator. And where does this really come into its own? Well, overnight experiments where you may want to keep an absolute constant temperature, maybe even room temperature, say 20 degrees centigrade, you can precisely control that. Exothermic reactions can be controlled easily. Or for longer experiments where an ice bath may prove problematic when you have to keep refilling it. And of course, one of the things where this is really very handy is doing precise temperature ramping up or down. Particularly useful for polymorph studies, crystallization studies. A key feature of Snowstorm 1 is unlike the heating only dry sim blocks, we have a O ring seal and weight. A very simple mechanism that keeps the flask sealed and airtight underneath. That's quite important because if you can imagine if you were to get condensation moving under the flask and then freezing, ice expands and it potentially could crack the flask. So that prevents moisture from getting under the flask and prevents any potential issues from cracking. If you want the ultimate performance we do have insulation to go around Snowstorm 1, and that will give probably another four or five degrees of subambient temperature performance on the average circulator. Temperature range of Snowstorm 1 can be from anywhere from minus 30 degrees up to 160 degrees centigrade, but that performance really does rely on the power of your circulator. To get some idea of how it may perform with a circulator you already have, or one you may be considering, please check the links below in this video and we have there some evaluations done at both Huber and Ulabo. I've also linked to another video with my colleague Fion showing Snowstorm in action. Any questions please drop us a line to inquiries at ascent.com and once again thanks for watching this Ascent video and we'll see you very soon. Bye bye.